Well, it's another day of me forgetting what time it is, which is never great. About there, I think. So, I'm sure you can see what this is. This is the Soviet PBF. Um, <clears throat> I forget the exact translation because it's really long and uh, I'm a native English speaker. And by fuck am I not learning Cyrillic, Bulgarian, whatever you want to call it. It just means gas mask without filter box. And essentially what it means is it doesn't take a separate 40mm cartridge, canister, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't take a separate filter. It just takes uh, these uh, EO19K, if I remember correctly was the name. Uh, if it's not correct, I'll just put it on screen. Anyway, I've not got long to do this because it's fucking cold and I found a bunch of pumpkins. You may notice the time of the year. I don't know why we don't sell pumpkins year round. It's good food. Anyway. Ah, I forgot because I'm using fucking pro mode. I have to do the focus myself. Is that, is that good? I don't want it to manual focus. Auto. There we go. So this is actually... Despite the colour you're currently seeing, actually, white rubber. It's the uh, grey style, the normal version that most countries would have gotten. There is a black variant, which was used in hotter countries. You, know, you probably, would, probably would have been used in the Soviet-Afghan war, I'm guessing. It was used from the 70s to the late 80s. This particular one was made in Moscow, 1974. You can see there, the second quarter of the month. Oh. And lot number one, it's pretty nice, size four, extra large, these often get bought up by gimps, is why I don't own a black in size four. Um, I don't have the tin of very specific millimetre inserts, there is a lip inside there for them, but I do have the tin of uh, membranes. Thank you to Baroque for days for sending me these, and big thank you to Mark Bristow for sending me the bag. Oh, and a big thank you to Nick for sending me the mask. Um, a lot of things went into it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, fuck you. The fucking board always comes off on my table. Hold on. Alright, there we go. The uh, board has been removed. There's something I rather like on this bag, which is the um, floral pattern right there. I'm sure it's probably not meant to be a flower. Now, you might think this bag looks familiar. And, well, it should do. Because the Soviets copied a lot of things. and uh, Well, the PBF is no exception. In fact, actually, I brought out the example to show you. Here is the M17 carrier. Oh, I've got There we go. Here is the M17 carrier. With this nice double padding there, triple padding on the back. And your two button poppers there, which... Yeah, it's the usual. It's still a fucking stupid design, it never stopped being. I don't know why they kept using it. Damn things get broken all the time. Uh, camera's been moved now. Well, if I do that, there we go, normal colours. So it's nice khaki green. Uh, here's your waist strap, your waist belt right there with a little. Yeah, and your actual normal strap. And like I say, it's got the nice padding on it to protect the mask inside. Nice little fold over, simple. And then we've got this, which. It's the fucking same, really. Um, you got padding. You got your nice little button poppers, which again, still shit. Soviets, you had a good thing going with simple buttons. I don't know why you changed it. This time around, it's got this, which is interesting. I don't know if it's on the back there. I suppose it kind of is. So you can put it on a belt. Um, it's got a loop around. And as I say, there's your waist belt with a nice little hooker do on the back. This is actually quite rough, this uh, top bag. Why is autofocus off? There you go, back on. And yeah, back panelling again. So yeah, it is really a direct 2-4 clone. And then of course, when it comes to the mask itself, while obviously not perfectly the same, it wasn't a direct clone, there was definitely inspirations taken. If I remember correctly, there was a prototype of the M17 that, uh, not the M17, the uh, PBF that would have um, used 40mm filters. I can't remember if that was real or fake. It's Reddit. Who fucking trusts Reddit? So, of course, they kept the helmet, the schlem part, but um, rather than the straps. 
And while you probably won't see direct similarities, like I say, the lens is a different shape, it's very obvious the way they got the inspiration. Your voice is up at the top here, your little exhale valve is at the bottom there. Internal cheek filters with a little popper on that you just pop on. The valves are pretty much the exact same. In fact, actually, you may notice that the uh, uh, sort of mesh cover on the front there points downward. This one also has one of those. You can see it inside there. The valves on the M17 being much more delicate. Where's top? Yeah, getting one of those off is really fucking hard. But yeah, it's quite obvious where they got all the inspiration from. So, this has quite a few sizes. I've just now noticed it's got a little dots in the top. I wonder where that's come from. It'll be me leaving it on stuff. Um, came in size 0 to 4, like most other Schlem masks. I say most all. They all did. Just because you didn't see a size 4 doesn't mean they don't exist. Because trust me, I'm looking for them. I can tell you, they do. They're just so obscenely priced, it's going to be a slow process before I can get all of them. So yes, good old helmet style mask. There's your nice ear pattern. Meant to be thinner so you can hear. Could have just used straps, lads, although I'm really glad you didn't, because Soviet straps are kind of dog shit. The MM1 had a good head harness before you tried to fuck it up. Shouldn't have tried to upgrade a good thing, because you just made it worse. Now how am I going to get this over the front to show you the inside? Whatever. There's your two little lenses, and you may notice it's got an oral nasal cup rather than TSO deflector tubes. It doesn't work. Anyway, uh, your lenses here, like I say, there's a lip there so you can put in the inserts. And yeah, uh, that flat out doesn't work. The oral nasal cup does not work. I don't know if mine's breaking or not, but it just doesn't fucking work. Um... Obviously you've got your valves in there. Inside there, you can see... I don't know, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's... That's just fucking great. A spider crawled into my mask at some point and I've squashed it. Right, well, I'll show you the other side. In there, there's where you can see your filters accessed. Now, it's worth noting... Oh, PBF filters have asbestos in. Only some do. And uh, if I remember correctly, uh, it was only those after... Ah, okay. Pulled my camera off the tripod. It was only those after 1980... Oh no, I think it was 79? 78? Th there was an asbestos test done. So um, I'll put that up on the fucking screen. So yes, as seen there, there is a certain date as to when it would be considered safe. So, these ones in particular are from 1986, and I do trust them. And I have trusted them. I used to trust the MOF4, and it turns out that only MOF4 is made after mid-1986, so I would say 1987, I'd only trust. Uh, the safe ones. That's not great, because I've been using a 1981. So there's your very thick valve. Nice, simple design that they, of course, copied. There's your filter in there. It's a, it's a nice mask. It's a cool mask. Like I say, the fogging is an issue. Uh, it's easy enough to repair. If you'd gotten it broken, I can never fucking get this off. This one was brand new from storage, so this thing isn't used to coming off. If you've got a used one, odds are it's probably used to coming off. Just yeah. So, oh no, I've perforated my membrane. Well, you pop open the tin, 
you pull out a new one, you unthread this thing and you pop a new one in there. Try to keep the little washer. Um, don't lose that thing either, for the love of God. You're never going to find a replacement one of these without buying a whole new fucking mask. It's not 40 millimeter. It's not any kind of filter threading, so you couldn't do a wacky thing and put a filter in there. At least I think not. Um, Bakelite construction inside there, which is really cool. There's your exhale, and there's your secondary exhale. So yeah, that's all that's really there to talk about. It's a really lovely mask. I really do like it. It's probably my favourite Soviet mask up there with the SHMS. The only thing that lets it down is the uh, fogging issue. But um, then again, anti. this would have come with the decon kit. And, um... By the way, putting filters in this thing's easy. Don't let anyone tell you it's hard. They're fucking liars or pussies. Um... Yeah, there would have been the anti-fog inserts and an anti-dazzle pen as well as the decon kit, so... Real quick, because I've only got 20 seconds left, here's the voice. The voice diaphragm is actually pretty good, to be fair. It's not as invasive as the SHMS, so it's still pretty good. So yeah, PBF. Gas mask without filter box. Love it.